Perfectly Sarah. Today I'm going to touch on a topic that I recently, just yesterday, wrote a blog post on. So that blog post and this video is going to answer one question that I get all the time and it's Sarah, why and how are you so confident in yourself dealing with having one arm and just in general? So I have one answer to this question and this is something it's difficult for me to explain and kind of grasp the whole thing because I've always just been super confident and comfortable with having one arm. It's not been a huge deal for me. So the one answer to this I will get to later. Um, but there's definitely factors that have played a part into my confidence and my self-worth and why I am so confident and comfortable showing my arm and that sort of thing. So the main one is definitely my parents. Um, I was raised in a Christian household where my parents taught me that, Sarah, you are created by God for a reason and a purpose, and he made you this way for a reason and a purpose, and he has a big plan for your life. And I think that and that has been really the basis of my entire life. I've always known that, you know what, whether I know or I don't know exactly why I was created this way, that is the basis of everything that I've learned and that I've been taught. Um, my parents didn't give me things that really adapted to me. I really adapted to things within the world because the world is never going to adapt to people who are different. But we're always going to have to adapt to the world. I just figured out a way for everything. My parents supported me in everything I did, but my parents never treated me any different than my brother who has two hands. My dad said, my dad always used to tell me, you know, Sarah, you just gotta figure out a way. And so that's what I did growing up. And I think that that really helped me. They didn't say, hey, Sarah, do you need help? Oh, just let me do it. No, they always told me, Sarah, you know, you gotta figure it out. And I figured it out every single time. And that made me stronger as a person. So if you are a parent with a child with a difference and that child is struggling, don't just automatically say, oh, let me do this for you. You know, I am so much stronger be because my parents pushed me to want to just learn how to do things by myself. And they just let me figure everything out. Um, so I'm determined because of that. And I... And I've learned to be strong because of that. Um, so I'm really blessed to have parents that, you know, raised me like that. And if you are a parent of a child with a difference, I really recommend that you just allow that child to figure it out on their own. Because they're going to have to do that later in life. They're not always going to have someone that they can rely on or depend on. So then the next thing is kind of, I want to talk about me growing up. So I grew up, I grew up in a really uh, small community. And everyone, like, like I said, they knew my story. Um, the first day I went to school, I remember my parents came in and they explained to kids, you know, why I was missing my arm, what happened. Um, and growing up, my, whenever kids would ask me, oh, what happened to your hand, my mom would always say, just tell them God made you like that. And I always compared that my difference, me having one arm, was no different than someone being, you know, born with brown hair and someone being born with blonde hair. It really was, it's that simple. It's no different. We all have differences. We all have things that make us unique. And mine is just a little bit more obvious than others, but it's really no different. So growing up, I played every sport that I could. I tried tennis and I tried soccer. I tried track. I tried literally everything I could. And some things worked out for me and some things didn't. I remember the big sport to play in middle school was volleyball. And I tried to play volleyball in seventh grade. I went to a camp and it just didn't work out for me. And that was okay. So I really recommend that growing up, you just try everything. Try different things. Figure out what you're good at. Also growing up, um, like in high school and stuff, I was always, I'm always just, a, I've always been a really positive person. And I just, that's kind of my personality. But what I put on social media and what I'm putting out there in these videos too, yes, I am positive like 99.9% .9 of the time. But that doesn't mean that I don't have hard days. There, That doesn't mean that there's some nights when I'm just like, I need someone that can relate to me and I cry myself to sleep. I have those hard days too. I am human. You are human. It is completely normal to have what I call a bad one arm day or a bad whatever day. You can have down days. You can have days where you're just like, I can't do this right now. I don't want to deal with this. And that is okay. We are human. We're supposed to have those days. It is good to just cry, get it out of your system, but then automatically turn back and say, because of that situation, because of this, I am stronger today than I ever was before. And that's what I really, that's my mindset when I look at different situations. And 
when I figure out something, when I'm trying to do something, and it's really hard to do in that moment, and I try to never say the word can't because it's just, it's not in my vocabulary and it never has been, you can do anything that you set your mind to. And if you have that mindset growing up, it's going to be easier later in life to have that same mindset. I, I didn't see myself as any different than the kids around me. Yes, I am different. Yes, I have something that is obviously physically different. But it was no different to me. I didn't care that I had one arm. I didn't care what I looked like. I just wanted to be the best of myself, the best version of me that I could possibly be. And in today's society, in today's world, it's so difficult to have that mindset because society's view of perfection is completely different and perfection doesn't even exist the only person that's perfect is God himself and he has created us uniquely and perfectly in his eyes and if we can just have if we can just see that if you can see that to God you are perfect to him if you can see that your whole perspective will be changed and you really really have to find that self-worth and that confidence through this one thing that I'm going to talk about and that's where all of my confidence and self-worth has come from. So there's one answer, one answer to where you're going to find worth in yourself and there's one answer to where you're going to find the core confidence that you need to just be you and it is through God, it is through Jesus Christ and that is why I am who I am today. I would Without my faith, I would be nothing. I would not be Sarah Stump. I would not have Imperfectly Sarah. I would not be making this video right now. My sleeve would probably be like this and I would probably be really insecure. Your difference does not define who you are as a person. You get to decide who you are. Your difference is never going to define who you are, but it is going to be a part of your story. It is a part of your story that God has planned out for you. And God has this massive plan for your life and you might not know what that plan is yet. I still don't know what that plan is for my own life, but I know that he has this massive great plan for my life and for your life, for everyone's life. And we have to slowly figure out what that plan is. Everything that I face, every obstacle in my way, every rock in my path, I'm going to overcome it because I believe that God is with me and he will allow me and he will help me to overcome that obstacle. And because of that obstacle, I will be a stronger person the next day. And that is true for all of you. You just have to believe it. All of the things that you go through in your life are part of this amazing plan that God has for you. And that is so important for you to understand and realize. And your worth should not, your self-worth girls, boys, all of you should not be found in material things in life. It should not be found in the clothes you wear. Your self-worth should not be found in the people you hang out with. Your self-worth needs to be found in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ only because that is where you are going to find confidence in yourself. You're going to love yourself because of your faith. You find it through Jesus. I have a few different Bible verses that I definitely live by my whole life and there's two that I really, really live by and I just, they're like the core of me. Um, and those are Philippians 4.13. It says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And I believe that in everything I do. And then also Jeremiah 29 11, and this one, this one is really near and dear to my heart. And it says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. God has, he knows everything that's going to happen in your life. He has these plans for you. And he's going to prosper you. He's going to lead you if you just allow him, if you follow Jesus, he will lead you in the right direction every single time that you need to go. There may be a few bumps in your road, but just keep following him and he'll lead you where you need to go. He's not giving you these plans to harm you. He's giving, the, he's giving you these plans for your future, for hope of your future. And you just really have to grasp that and break it down. He made no mistake in creating you. Every single detail on you, every little mole, every little freckle you have, he put there for a reason and a purpose. And just whenever you're feeling unworthy or uncomfortable or like you're an outcast or a lost sheep, just know that God is always with you wherever you go. 
And another Bible verse is Philippians 1, 6, and it says, For I am confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Jesus Christ. And to me, this means that God has begun work in you since the very beginning. Since before you were created, he has begun work in you. But his work is not done yet. And, and if you believe in his work and you trust his plan in your life, and you know that it's not in your own plan, but it's in God's plan, if you look for the signs that God's giving you in your life, you will find them if you're looking. But if you have no desire to figure out those plans, then they're going to be lost in your own self. Another Bible verse, I have a lot of Bible verses here, but another one is Deuteronomy 31.6 that says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or tremble at them. For the Lord your God is one who goes with you, and he will not fail or forsake you. In every single day, Remember to be strong and remember to be courageous. Don't be afraid of the people around you. Do not try to always fit in with the people around you. Throughout every day, all you need to be is yourself. If you're unsure of who you are as a person, just pray. Ask God to show you, help you, open your heart to Him. Allow yourself to follow in God's footsteps and ask Him to lead you in the direction that you're supposed to go. And throughout the entire process, He's always with you. God is always, always with you. I can remember when I was younger and I would get really anxious about tests that I was taking and I still get a little anxious, but when I was in like middle school and elementary school, I always knew that God was with me. So I would actually lay out a pencil on my desk and I would scooch over in my chair so that God could sit down, not that he needed to, but I would always scooch over my chair so that God could sit down and I would lay out a pencil for him with no eraser because God makes no mistakes. And I had this little coin that said, like, follow in the footsteps of the Lord. And I would always set that out on my desk as well. And it just, it just relieved my anxiety of my test taking. And I always just knew that God was with me and that he was always going to help me in my tests or in whatever I was doing in my life. A Bible verse about confidence that I really like is Proverbs 3.26, which says, For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. This is so important, this is key, this is, we cannot allow ourselves to get caught up in society's view of perfection. You are not and you never will be perfect. No matter how hard you try, you're never going to be perfect because perfection does not exist. And in him, we're going to see our strength, we're gonna see our worth, and we're gonna see our confidence grow through Jesus. If you trust in the Lord with all your heart, and you don't lean on your own understanding, and in all your ways you acknowledge him, he's going to make your path straight, and that's from Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. This is something that I was talking about um, when I am talking about me being a planner. This is something that I've always really struggled with. God is going to throw some curveball, curveballs at you in your life, and you're going to struggle, and it's going to be hard, but you can get back up from them, and you just put your faith in God, and you allow Him to lead your life. Allow God to take the steering wheel instead of you taking the steering wheel. And your life is going to go exactly as planned as the way that God has your plan planned out for you. So that is why I am so confident and comfortable in who I am as a person is because of God, and it's because of my faith. And that is the only answer that I can give you guys. Dig deeper. Do not allow yourself to get caught in society and what society's view of perfection is because your worth is not going to come from society and material things in your life. Your worth and your confidence is going to be stronger and it's going to come through one thing only and that is God. I hope this answers your guys' questions about confidence and self-worth and I hope that this helps many of you and parents of children with differences or just people if you're struggling with confidence and self-worth in general. I really hope this video helps you guys. Um, again, feel free to read my blog on confidence. It has a little bit more details. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye guys.